Hello, hello, this is Alice. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. You know the drill, turn on that for a resolution on the video. Today, we have these two kits to unbox. They're both from Mrs. Barter D. Um, the first one is the artist room, and I got it really excited on a new release. It's got a little Corby in the corner, spoiler alert. So I'm really excited to unbox this one. And then, which bedroom was part of the mystery box from Diamond Art Club? I definitely spent some time hounding it down. And since they're both from Mrs. Barter D, a new artist to Diamond Art Club, I'm gonna unbox the two of them together. And because of that, I will also dive into a brief bio, take a look at her artwork and whatnot from Mrs. Barter D. In the middle, I'm also going to draw the winners to my giveaway in my 10th video. So without further ado, let's dive in. So here I have Mrs. Spartady's website. Let's take a look if she has an artist bio section. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, Kira, the mysterious curvy girl. So she's one of the guests in our painting today. About me. My name is Daniela, aka Mrs. Sparta D from Portugal. So here. Video game. So that makes sense why she likes having Kirby in some of her art. Kawaii. Especially cat. So she's a cat person. Got print and sticker club on Patreon. Let's see, she's also got prints, stickers, sticker sheets, but we'll take a look at her artwork later. I'm more interested in... She's got keychains. Oh, look at this one. This is the girl that plays game with the Kirby in her back pocket. So I think this is the girl also in the artist's room and that's why she has a Kirby in the corner because she just really, really loves Kirby. <laughs> so these are her artwork that pretty much tells you what her art style is like. Very kawaii, softer lines, and lots of elements that we tend to like, like the moons and stars. This is a Cinderella. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I really like this one. There's a fireplace, she's writing a notebook. There's snow outside and with a pet here and a gingerbread in what looks like hot chocolate with marshmallow. That's a lot of marshmallows. Oh my God, it's an Olaf hitting the collar right here. That is so cute and funny. I like this Olaf right here in the corner. This is also another little witch with a lot of bunnies. Hmm, this will also look very cute in a diamond painting. This continues the Gamer Girl theme. Look at her playing with a console, with headphones in. Another Kirby in the corner. And one of those balls used to catch all the Pokemons, even though they're from different universes, but gotta catch them all. Um, oh, this is Dora Amon. I don't know if many of you know this one, but I grew up with this cartoon. He's like a cat with a magic sporty pocket that can have a lot of tools coming out of his pocket. So that's really cute. I really want to see this one printed as well. Oh, look at this one. It's similar to the witch bedroom one that we got today. But it's got different elements. Here's a rabbit at her lap. Some boots. Oh, crystals. Some lights. This is a bunk bed with a desk underneath set up. I really like this. This is really cute. And here's a flower shop. I would love to see this one printed as well. Diamond Night Club, if you're watching, hint hint. Here's a collage. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the artist's room. And this is the witch bedroom. The other ones might also show up in voting later. Because, speaking of which, this one definitely show up in voting recently. We've seen this in the latest voting round where there's a lot of Christmas images. 
and I really like this one because I really like playing with snow, but I never managed to actually build a snowman. So I really like this one. So since it's shown up in the voting round, I hope it gets printed at some point, probably around Christmas time because the other paintings in the same round are all Christmas. An art print of the witch bedroom. There we go. This is the original art of witch bedroom. Look at all the cute elements in there. Bunny slippers, a little kitty in the bed, the potion that comes out of it, even the mist is a heart shape. Oh, it's really adorable. This is like reading a book in a probably aquarium. Although the setting kind of looks like a train, so I'm not sure. But look at the fishies. This one is really suitable for Valentine's Day, but it's a little too late for this year's Valentine's, but maybe for next year. I hope this also gets printed because there's a Valentine's Day menu, got a balloon that says XOXO. And here's two of them talking to each other. Hmm. So this is the one that's the original of the one we're about to unbox today. I actually thought in order to be able to render all these details, the size needs to be quite large. But as you'll see in a bit, it's actually a pretty snack size painting. So I'm a little surprised by that. But since we have found both of the artworks we're about to unbox today, I'll leave it to you to indulge in more of her arts later on her Instagram. And let's get into the paintings. All right, first up is the artist room. You see, there's a Kirby in the corner. Let me cut it open from the top. Diamond Night Club ticket. Original art, the artist art name, as well as the size. It is 17 by 21 inches and it's all round. And the toolkit, standard Diamond Night Club toolkit. But I'm always curious to see to, uh, what carbon binder and washi tape I got. So this is the washi tape. Oh, very suitable for Valentine's Day kind of washi tape. And the cover minder is a little green sunflower. All right. Are we ready? So here is the top. So this painting is so small that it can fit into my entire coffee table without me having to rotate to fit into the frame. That's why I say it's more like snack size. And I'm pretty surprised that it's able to capture all the details in here without making it super size and not even make it into a square. And here is a honorable mention to my new tool that I acquired. Uh, it's a new ruler and it must have both metric and imperial units. So let's see whether this is true to size. It's a little shy of 17 inches from left to right. And let's see top to bottom. It's also about half an inch shorter than the 21 inches that it has described at the bottom. It's more like 20.5 inches. I think it's because Diamond Art Club has shrunken the drill fill since they introduced their new diamonds, which are more consistent in sizes. But for whatever reason, they haven't adjusted all their legends at the bottom, but because they use inches anyway, so they have some margins of errors there. And the canvas kind of flattened it itself a little bit. 
Since this canvas is pretty tiny, let's zoom in and have a tour of all the elements. So first up, going from the top, we have Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle, their brand thing. And this is a plant next to the window hanging down. And the plant goes all the way. And there's another plant coming from the floor. This is a pretty popular plant that I also considered putting into my own office for a little while. And look, there's a Kirby hidden in the corner here. So this is definitely my favorite part about the entire painting. And moving a little bit. Back to the top again. There's another plane here on the wall. And there's a shelf of a few books as well as a jar of either water or maybe there were supposed to be fish such as a fish tank in here, I'm not sure. But here's a jar of water. And here is a wall of supplies, like painters' colors in tubes. A few paper stickies that she has also clipped onto the rack here. And here is an easel holding up a piece of artwork that she's working on. A few paintbrushes and this, um, I'm not sure what you call it, like a disc where you use to mix colors. And here is a holder of some letters or notes of hers on the wall here next to the window. And this is the girl wearing really, really cute headphones with a uh, bow tie on her hair. That's really cute. And she's wearing a coverall that's made of denim. And it's more like a short, so it's like a onesie, but made in denim with a t-shirt that's pink. And here's a scarf hanging off the chair, the back of the chair, of purple, lavender, pink shades. So this painting pretty much got me because it got all my favorite shades in it in a Kirby, so how can I say no to that? And at the bottom here is a piece of rug under her chair. So it's got a lot of cute details, especially look at this cabinet. It's not only a cabinet, but it also has a little fish tank in here. So it's got fishies as well. So yeah, this is all the elements in this painting. Really, really adorable. And let's dive into some of the diamonds. So here is the big sticker sheet with the artwork name Artist Room and the artist is Miss Butter D. There are three ABs, one, two, three. It's green, pink, and white AB. We'll take a look at where they go. And here is a group picture of all the colors in this painting. So here are all the colors in this kit and we also have three diamonds that are ABs. The three ABs are 1, 2, 2, it's a green AB. 1, 2, A, it's a pink AB. And 1, 4, 1, it's a white AB. We'll take a look at where they go. So the first AB, 1, 2, 2, is the number 1. And then we have number two and number three. So we pretty much just need to look for all the symbols that are numerically one to three. So we have a bunch of them in the plants here, the white and the green AB. So you can imagine there's a bunch of sunlight coming out from the window and the plants are being lit up. And we have the white AB number three as the reflection on the window as well as the edge of the cloud. So the clouds really floaty with some white ABs on the edge. We also have this edge of the window, all threes. And a little bit more in the plants here, three and one. And some more reflection in the window and more in the plants. And here's some more in the plants here, just the green AB. 
So pretty much the plants themselves are all decorated with white and green ABs all over the place. Another bit of a uh, highlight in the window rail with the white AB as well over here. And we see some number two at the top of the Kirby. So the Kirby is staying at the corner in here. She's still got a bit of a sunlight on her head. That's really cute. And I don't think anything else below that. Yeah, there's no AB underneath. And then come back here, we have some number three on the edge of the scarf. You can imagine since the scarf is hanging off the back of the chair, the sunlight coming from the window is giving the edge of the scarf a little bit of a reflection. And also we see a lot of pink AB in her hair. Since this girl has her hair all pink, it's also, again, sunlight coming from the window, reflecting on her hair and making the pink really, really pop. Also, there's one vertical line on the window. This is all number two, pink AB as well. And we have a little bit of uh, green AB and white AB here in this tiny plant on the wall. A little bit of the white AB in her hair. Some more white AB in the um, folding of the scarf. We have some white AB at the edge of this cabinet on both sides. A little bit here where you would open the cabinet as well. Here on the desk, this is pretty much the edge of her desk and where the tool she's holding sitting. There's a bunch of white AB as well. So I mean, if you imagine a white tabletop, it's pretty reflective from the sunlight. And here are some of the lights around the rack she has holding her art supplies. Let me move a little bit more. These lights holding her art supplies, there's a bunch of uh, white AB as well with the symbol number three. So of course the light is lighting up to help her draw and pick up her art supplies and whatnot. That's really cute. We have a little bit of a pink AB in the drawing that she is creating over here as well as over here, but not a lot. And back up at the top here, this water glass has some white AB outlining. And of course, once again, a bunch of the green and white AB together to make the leaves really pop with the sunlight. So that's really cute. Oh wait, something I almost missed. There's a few white AB in the fish tank as well. As you can see, the fish tank probably reflect a bit of a sunlight. So this completes the overview of ABs in this artwork. In case you're watching on a mobile device, let me put the artwork in a different direction as well, just so you can see. So this is the better overview of the entire canvas. All right, let's move on to the giveaway winner joins. All right, time to pick up the winners of my 10th video giveaway. Let's paste in the video link and choose some keyword. The first one was lavender. Elizabeth Painter. Hi, Alice. I've been lurking for a while, but haven't commented yet. I love seeing everything you accomplished so far for do and youth and can't wait to see what 2023 brings. You mentioned some pastel and coming kits, so maybe including some lavender. Well, as you can see, the artist's room definitely has tons of lavenders in there. All right, the next one, the keyword is silver.
Carly A. I am so happy to have found your channel today from the sneak peek. Oh, so you found me from the sneak peek I did of Yume. I love seeing the DP you finished last year and also I like how you show where you bling them up and change them to your preference. Also, those silver and lavender pens are gorgeous. Where did you get them from? So the silver pen was made by Donna Bass. Her Facebook group name is Custom Diamond Painting Pens and More by Donna Bass. I'll put a link to her Facebook group down below. And because as you can see, her Facebook name start with Custom Diamond Painting Pens, her focus is really on making the pens according to preference that you would like, styles that you would like. So she's definitely a great turner, really nice person. Feel free to check it out. And the lavender pen was made from a blank from flowergirlblanks.com. The owner is Kayla Cooper. She makes a lot of blanks that are with these frozen flowers or sometimes pine cones and things like that in them. They're really pretty, uh, various themes. Feel free to check out her Facebook page that I'll also link as well as her website. Congratulations to the winners. I hope you get in touch with me either through Instagram direct message or send a note to my email address. As soon as I get your address, I will hope to send out your package ASAP. Hope that you enjoy the pens. Now, without further ado, let's get into which bedroom. All right, here is the which bedroom. Let me cut it open at the top as well. So because this one show up in the mystery box, we clearly got caught off guard because a lot of people really, really love Artist Room that was released not long ago. So a lot of people went crazy in the D stash group and so did I. I definitely spent a lot of time hunting it down. And through some accident, because I commented on a thread for trading and I also bought another one, I ended up with two of them. I haven't decided what to do with my second copy yet, whether I should do a raffle or like, more like chance to buy kind of stuff. So I'm not sure, I haven't decided. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. So this is the toolkit. Let's look at the washi and the cover minder. Oh, I got the bunny with the strawberry. And the washi. This washi tape's got some flowers, pretty much. Here is a sticker. Which bedroom is the artwork name? It's by Mrs. Barter D. And this is the original artwork. It's all in square, unlike the other one. And the dimension is 17 by 24 inches. So it's about three inches longer than the other one. So we're rolling this open. Ooh. So this one is a little bit longer than my table as it's three inch longer than the other one. Thank you note as usual. And this is the big sticker. So this is the original artwork with super zoomed in detail. 17 by 24 inches as I mentioned earlier. And we have 60 colors, including three ABs. Because anything under 150 is AB. So it's pink, green, and white, very similar to the other one. It's a little bit shorter than 24 inches, but the margin of error is actually smaller than the previous one. And it's just about 17 inches wide. So I say this is really accurate compared to the other ones, but you know, margin of error since they're an American company using inches. And let's take a little tour of the details on this canvas. So 
starting from the top, we have a window over here with some lights hung over it. And we have a shelf with a crystal, a few books and a bit of a skeleton since she's a witch. And I believe this is a lamp on the wall. And this is a plan very similar in the artist's room. And I guess there's a few post-it notes that's kind of hanging on the shelf, almost falling off. And here's a piece of artwork she has on the wall, but it's kind of blocked by her hat and herself. And this is another little artwork. SP, not sure what, but cat. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, and this is a heart shape because it's sort of the midst of whatever magic she's doing over here coming out of this cauldron that she's cooking up. The mist coming out of it is a heart shape, so I imagine it's some kind of love potion that she's cooking up. And we have a kitty. We must have a kitty since, as we have learned earlier, Daniela really likes cats. So we have a kitty on a bed watching the cauldron as she's doing some magic work. Got the pillows on the bed. You know, what's the one thing that comes to mind? That she's cooking this potion on the bed and if she's clumsy as me, sometimes she might tip it over and the whole bed is covered in potions. But that's story for another day. Um, we got some plants over here as well because it's kind of like a bedside table that she has. And let me see, what is this thing poking out of there? I think this is like a experiment sort of glass. I'm not sure what the stick is, but probably some witchcraft items. And she's wearing a really, really cute witch hat with a bow tie over here. Oh no, actually correction, it's actually a crystal. It's actually a piece of crystal on her hat, so that's really cute. And that's her t-shirt with the eye sort of uh, symbol on the back of it. And here is a cup of, I assume, coffee? Which again, feels really dangerous that she makes the wrong move. Both of these liquids could spill, but that's also just my anxiety talking about liquids. And here's another potion that she's working on over here. And she's wearing some cute socks like you were hanging out at home in your warmth. And going a little bit down. This is pretty much the bottom of her blanket draping off the bed. And we got some bunny slippers, that's really cute. And there's some dirty socks or boots hiding under the bed on top of a big, big area rug. That's a really cute bedroom. And I imagine these are the tarot cards. According to the original artwork, they look like tarot cards. And here's a candle. Hmm. I don't know why. I also have anxiety of a candle having on the bed because it could burn. But she's a witch. You could probably say, Ingovian labiosa or something along that line to make the fire go away. So it's all good. Got another plant in the corner over here. So it's got a lot of cute elements in here. The story is basically the little witch is cooking up some potions in her bedroom. If I remember correctly from Daniela's website, I think she's still a student that's still learning witchcraft. So it makes sense why she is trying to cook up or practice some witchcraft in this bedroom that's not very big because she's still just learning. And um, let's dive into some of the diamonds and we'll take a look at the ABs. So here is a group photo of all the diamonds, as if it's not apparent by the original artwork. This is full of all shades of pinks.
So these are all the colors in this painting. There are 60 of them, so a lot more than in the artist room, which had only 46. So you can see there are a lot of smaller bags of different colors over here. And most of the ones at the bottom are probably for background and color blocking, as we have two bags of 150, two bags of 915, three bags of 961. So these three definitely go into some bigger, bigger trays of mine. And the other colors don't really have more than one bag. And here's our favorite part, the ABs. So yellow, 129. Pink, 128. As well as white, 141. It's really not a lot of AB, so we'll see where they go. But I imagine they just highlight little details in the painting. So according to the legend here, 128, 129, and 141 are respectively number 1, 2, and 3. So there's some number 1 here on the curtain. That's the pink AB. There's some 3 sprinkle over here, so I imagine it's the white which represents star outside of the window in the city that it's looking into. So it's probably more like a night scene sort of background. Some over here as well, in the background of the outside of the window. And we have two ABs highlighting the eyes of the cat. And here on the right side, let's see, we have some yellow ABs in this plant. You can see them at the edge of the leaves over here even all the way going down here, where it's kind of touching the hat of the witch. Also a little bit of yellow AB here at the edge of the crystals on the shelf. A little bit here on this crystal that's on her hat. And then this also outlined the entire heart shape over here as well as going all the way into the quadrant. So it's the edge of the mist that's coming out of whatever magic that she's cooking up here. And also here on the edge of this plant, we got some yellow AB as well. And also, I imagine this is more like an oracle or crystal ball that she has on her bedside table. So we also got some yellow ABs in here. And definitely this candle, since it's a flame and there's flame going in and out, it uses some yellow AB to sort of have that effect. I might substitute it out with some jelly AB that I have, like how I did in the uh, other witch painting by Carissa Bug which I added a lot of jelly ABs to represent the candle's flame. Also some more that I almost missed coming out of the coffee cup. It's the stars around the coffee that has the yellow AB as well. Let's keep going. Oh, I totally almost missed it. In this mist of the magic she's having, there's a bunch of uh, pink AB represented by the symbol number one as well. And at the edge of this pillow, close to the kitty, there's some white AB by the number three. And here at the coffee cup, there is some dots coming out of the coffee. So the stars and the dots are pretty much both sparkles coming out of the drinks over here. Oh, I also realized that this tea bag is sort of hanging above the teacup, which means there's some magic applied to the drink for sure. And they use the yellow and white AB to be like, there's some magic going on, sort of sparkles. That's really cute. And we also have this potion over here with some yellow AB number two. Here we have the number one, which is pink on the cover of the book. And once again, a lot of the yellow at the edge of these plants to highlight the edge of the leaves. 
I don't see any white ABs down here, but let me know if I missed anything in the comments. So here I have the two paintings side by side that you can see their size in comparison. Uh, as the original measurement indicated, they're pretty much the same width, but the witch bedroom is about three inches longer. And let me pull them up. Here you can have a real person size comparison next to me to see how big they are. Especially this one, the artist room is really snack sized. And, oh, let me switch the order. And if you were to have them um, right on top of each other, you can tell the width is exactly the same, but the witch bedroom is about three inch longer. I started using these hangers to hang uh, Whopper Progress in finishes because it's like really economical. But anyways, here are the two paintings. Um, I would say both of them are really cute, but I want to work on the curvy one first because curvy has some special meaning to me. And yeah, one thing I need to mention is I also ended up with an extra witch bedroom sort of by coincidence or accident because when I was hunting it down, I replied to purchase one of them first from the these stash group since it came out of the mystery painting. And I was really also looking for another people mystery. So I first purchased a witch bedroom, but then another person whose post was about trading those two responded to me from earlier. So I sort of did both and that's how I ended up with an extra witch bedroom. And I know there are some people really, really looking for it, cannot wait for the restock, and I'm still not sure what is the best or fairest way to sell or give away my second copy. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably do it in a few upcoming videos, either as sort of a raffle or as a enter for a right to purchase, and I'll probably just sell it at full retail price type of thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video so far. These two paintings are really, really pastel color. I really like Mrs. Sparta D artwork and I look forward to seeing more from her. With that being said, if you'd like to see more diamond painting related content just like this, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram. I hope we stay in touch and I'll see you next time. Bye!